Hello Overclockers, welcome to this episode of Overclockers UK Academy. This time we're going to be taking a look at Wi-Fi, the bane of many gamers existence due to memories of lag and high ping and missing that clean headshot all because of your internet connection. We're going to be talking to Clive from TP-Link who's going to be explaining to us all about the new generation of Wi-Fi 6 and all the other features in the new age of Wi-Fi technologies. So for many gamers, um, Wi-Fi can still be a bit of a dirty word and to them, wireless can't compete with wired and the closest sometimes you can get is power line. Whereas I know Wi-Fi has come a long way recently, would you say that it's sort of finally catching or caught up with wired? Yes, to be very honest, with the new uh, AX standard uh, that we are here to talk about today, gamers will definitely be able to go uh, play their games, uh, have live streaming with the Wi-Fi. There are a lot of advantages, a lot of new technologies that uh, the AX has brought into. And uh, I won't be surprised that some of the gamers do love to hardwire uh, their gaming PCs or their consoles because it's much more faster and very stable as well when we talk about power lines or just connecting it directly uh, to the Ethernet ports. But uh, don't get me wrong with the Wi-Fi, uh, gamers will also do love this uh, new AX technology. What could you sort of tell me has changed in the generations, like since maybe Wi-Fi 4 or 5, what, what's the journey been for Wi-Fi? The first generation of Wi-Fi was the 802.11n, uh, which is the N standard. If we just connect to the Wi-Fi, it will be the 2.4 GHz channel. Okay. The second came in the 5 GHz channel, which is the 802.11ac, mm -hmm. so that was a little bit faster. The reason for the AC standard to come on was because the 2.4 channel had a lot of other interferences from yeah. our TV, uh, TV remotes, uh, maybe microwave, all other stuff. Yeah. So that was the reason of the 5 coming, coming in. With the AX, it is a combination of both 2.4 as well as 5 GHz channel. Okay. So it, it combines both the technologies that is the N standard as well as the AC standard together as one, which makes the AX standard. Okay, so I suppose that sort of avoids, um, it, it, it gives you the two options and avoids interference from either channel, I suppose, and you get really smooth uh, connection. Yes, exactly. There is something, uh, because you said that about the, uh, about the connection issue, there is another cool interesting thing in AX uh, which they have developed is something called as a BSS color. Mm -hmm. What it normally does is if it if there is a interferences from your neighbor or maybe in your office from other other device Wi-Fi device. Just an example, it that interference signal which comes from the other side, it the router or whichever which supports the AX standard will give the color as blue okay. and your Wi-Fi which goes out from your router it will give the color as maybe red yeah and it will make sure that red and blue does not interfere with each oh, other that's really interesting actually because I know I had an issue actually um, a long time ago and I could, couldn't figure it out and sorry it was on PlayStation not PC don't shoot me but um, <laughs> it because it was in my living room and there was a lot of different signals going around I didn't understand why certain signals weren't working very well. Even yep. the connection from some of my other um, peripherals wirelessly were playing up along with my internet. And it wasn't until I realized after a while that it was because they were all on the same bandwidth, sort of that, that 2.4, I believe. Yep. And uh, I see that routers like this really help avoid problems like that and can make the gameplay experience a lot smoother for gamers, which is what everyone wants, I suppose. Yes, exactly. And uh, now because of the AX standard and a lot of other technologies, uh, the gamers will love going on their gaming streams with Wi-Fi, especially because there are a lot of functions which even our routers have, uh, which makes the Wi-Fi strong. Like say for example, beam forming, which targets the Wi-Fi on the particular device, mm -hmm. not just spreading around the room, okay. but just targeting on, the, on that device. Then other things like airtime fairness, so it has a 1.8 gigahertz uh, co quad core processor, okay, CPU. Yeah. Plus, it also has two core processors, which just help in the stability of the Wi-Fi itself. Okay. So there's special dedication just for the Wi-Fi. So it's almost like it's got a little um, computer type thing going on in there just to help it accurately figure out how to make your connection more stable and strong. Yes, exactly. Amazing. So there are, uh, there are certain things that make the Wi-Fi 6 very unique and much more faster. 
uh, one of the key point is uh, something called as a OFDMA. So it's a transmission protocol which allows one transmission of data to deliver to multiple devices. Okay. So and this protocol is made uh, this technology of OFDMA is made much more faster in the AX standard. The second, as we know, is something called as MU MIMO. Okay. So that's multiple user, multiple input, multiple output. So this was first introduced in the AC standard. Mm -hmm. That's a Wi-Fi 5 standard. Now, the key difference in here is that the AC standard, which had the MU MIMO, it will take four transmissions mm -hmm. on one device at a time. Okay. So this is made much more stronger in the AX standard. So instead of four streams, it is made double the amount. So it's eight oh, streams okay. in one. So it's much more faster as well. Well, okay. Well, I suppose from our audience, I think this, uh, you may have covered sort of the answer to this already, but just to reiterate for people, um, streamers are a big audience of ours. And for a long time, a streamer's worst nightmare is their internet. It's always the thing that can affect streams. And more than anything else, the only reply people get when they're struggling is, oh, you're gonna have to plug it in, you're gonna have to do it wired. Are there features that you may have covered already or features that we haven't talked about that help streamers keep that stable connection they need when going live and people are interacting and you don't want lag, you don't want breaking yep, up? Exactly. Yes. Some of the key features that uh, this, one, uh, this router has is uh, quality of service. Mm -hmm. So you can actually prioritize your device. The, actually, the graphical user interface of this device is pretty cool. So it will show you which devices are connected. Mm -hmm. So you can just go in the quality of service prioritize that device if you're getting 50 megabits per second in your router you can give like 40 just for your device to prioritize oh, okay. it well, yeah. that's cool. you can also do it like in terms of applications like say suppose if you're gaming there there are pre-configured uh, applications for this you can just go up and down like for gaming or if you're just internet or if you're just oh, surfing yeah. so you can really take control of exactly what you want your router to do and uh, customize it to your needs. Yes, exactly. Brilliant. Because this router has eight ethernet ports, which are gigabit as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're having a LAN party, there are eight ports over here, which are gigabit. It's always good as well. Good thing to know for gamers because LAN parties do still exist. They're not extinct yet. Yes, exactly. Um, what does uh, the, this new generation of routers offer um, in terms of security? So in terms of security, like if you go with the Wi-Fi, uh, the latest standard of the of the Wi-Fi protocol for the passwords is WPA3. Mm -hmm. So the AX standard does support the WPA3 for the pass uh, for the passwords. Okay. So that's more secure. If you want to go up till more extra uh, extreme security as well, our router does have inbuilt antivirus. Nice. So it's free for users for three years, and it is uh, provided by a company called Trend Micro. Okay. So you have inbuilt security antivirus, anti-malware, you got firewall, you got quality of service. Also, as you are a parent, say suppose if you are using this router in your home, it will uh, you can also do parental control. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can you can say like each device can go up till certain amount of time for the internet, or just give other parental controls that you want to. Okay, so it's really good for customers then that everything comes as one big package, I suppose. You don't need to worry about getting additional uh, security or whatever. It all comes in one package, which is great. Exactly. Cool. So, um, also, uh, another thing we wanted to cover is we've talked about sort of the stability of connection. We talked about the power but and interference, but range is often an issue that uh, comes with a lot of standard routers. So, if you're playing your game upstairs in the, the back bedroom and your router is in the front room of your lower floor or whatever. Do, do these uh, new generation of routers sort of improve on range and how do they tackle the issue of going around walls and around? Yeah, exactly, because this one is called the AX6000. Mm -hmm. So that 6000, it is MBPS, mm -hmm. is then subdivided into the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz channel. Mm -hmm. So there's a solid pack of power into that with in terms of Wi-Fi. And the other functions, uh, the technologies that I spoke to you about of the OFDMA or there is another call as the 1024QAM, mm -hmm. which is a modulation, communication modu um, 
which is a modulation for communication. Mm -hmm. So that helps as well. Okay, so that sort of helps you get that range all over your house, that full coverage. Yes, exactly. The router can be controlled via an app. So we oh, have okay. the TP-Link has something called as a tether app. So if you are a gamer, you can just control your your router just on the go with your app. Oh wow, that is convenient. So if you were to say um, you just gotten in from work or school or whatever, and you want to get straight into gaming, you can set up your router for gaming mode or whatever is closest to that straight from your phone. Exactly. That's super convenient because it saves a lot of time. I know a lot of people, especially our age of gamers, need every last minute they can get on the game before they have to go back to work. So taking any of that fat yes. away from it is great. Also, what you can do interesting, if you have Alexa at home, you just come home tired and if you can just say, Alexa, switch on the guest network if you have guests around. Oh, okay. So it, it is compatible with IFTTTT, if you're oh, aware of yeah, that. Yeah. And it's also compatible with Alexa. Wow, okay, that's really convenient, that's really good. I mean, you can see that with a lot of these features, um, they're really aimed towards sort of the modern tech user slash gamer slash yeah. creative and stuff. And I would say as well, just from looking at the, the device itself, its design is really, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's nice because you seem to have found a nice mid ground between that sort of spidery gaming aesthetic, but keeping yes. it clean and classy, which is nice. So the initial ones, they just come like folded over here. Yeah. And it's a good point just, to make. You yeah. can put them down, but. Yep, and then you just put them up. And as I've said before as well, like there are core processors that just mm -hmm. have, they are just concentrated on the Wi-Fi to stabilize that. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's a really nice looking thing and a really powerful thing and I like uh, that it's sort of the full package. Everything comes as one. It looks like it does. It wouldn't be out of place on a gamer's desk, which is nice as well. I know some gamers do have their router on their desk. It really fit with a lot of the builds we see, which is really nice to have as well. Exactly. Uh, other thing, one of the points for gamers would be when uh, gamers like to do a VPN for their yeah. gaming servers. Yeah. So, Good point for this one is that it also supports the VPN. So we have two kinds of VPN. One is open VPN and one is PPTP as well. Uh, so what? how many devices can sort of these kind of routers handle? Because obviously in the modern age, people have maybe three phones in their house, two computers, four games consoles, all, all of that kind of thing. Is it sort of ready to handle that kind of amount of devices? Yes, exactly. Now, if I just give you a brief about the AX, mm -hmm. uh, the reason AX was developed uh, is not just because of the speeds, that because it is AX, like the hype AX, okay. but it is just because to improve the performance of a network in like high bandwidth uh, areas like airports, things like that. But if you are using it in your home, because we know every, every household, each person may have at least two smart home devices. Mm -hmm. So that's where the AX comes, uh, comes in. So AX helps in actually dividing that bandwidth, that performance through multiple devices. No matter if you have if you have three uh, phones or even like a lot of uh, IoT devices or smart home devices, okay. it will help in that throughput in that performance. So that's all that AX has got. Okay. Wow. Uh, the other part also for Wi-Fi six, it helps save your smartphone's uh, battery life oh, wow, because. Okay. It has some uh, a function called as target wake time, mm -hmm. which helps the battery life of your end devices connecting to the router. Oh wow, so it makes it sort of uh, less taxing on the device to connect to the Wi-Fi as that, so it en ends up eating up less battery. Yes, exactly. Oh, wow. so, the, so the end device will only interact with the, uh, with the router Wi-Fi only when it asks the data or requests data from oh, the router. Wow, okay. Otherwise, then it will be like in a sleep mode, so that really saves up your battery really life. really interesting function, yeah. Yeah. Really cool. So that works for sort of all devices, so gaming devices, PCs and all that, not just phones? Yes, so all the devices, uh, whichever are connected uh, to the Wi-Fi of the router. Wow, okay, that's really, that's really interesting. I didn't yeah. know that existed. So obviously Wi-Fi is getting more and more popular, more and more powerful and more and more feature rich. Do you see Wi-Fi in the future continuing this trend? Do you think it might overtake some of the other options and become a more viable option for the everyday gamer and more professional gamer? Yes, exactly, to be, to be very honest, because we can't, we can't be relying on every time Ethernet connections, yeah. right? We can't connect all our devices to Ethernet ports, then yeah. we will require power line adapters, we will require switches, uh, for extra Ethernet, extra Ethernet ports. Mm -hmm. So, with the AX standard as well, uh, because the certain 
technologies which are which we have spoken about that the AX comes uh, comes with Wi-Fi will be a very best option for the household or for a bigger market in in your business environment so soon you can we're, we're working our way towards a completely wireless home yes uh, <laughs> to be very honest because we do have a lot of uh, smart home devices as well yeah. which connects to Wi-Fi they all never connect with the Ethernet connection exactly right? exactly it's so just eventually all about Wi-Fi. hopefully we'll be able to get that wired performance in everything but in wireless yeah okay. exactly and uh, TP-Link as well we have a range of uh, Wi-Fi 6 products coming out okay. so we do have the Wi-Fi 6 uh, Wi-Fi router mm -hmm. then we will be also having the Deco series which will have the oh, AX okay. standard we will have range extenders which will have the AX standard as well. Great. In the market as of now I know only the Samsung, uh, one of the Samsung phone has is AX mm -hmm. but say in case if you are a gamer uh, who has a PC and your PCIe adapter doesn't support AX mm -hmm. but if you want to avail that AX technology uh, TP-Link also does the uh, uh, AX PCIe adapter okay. which you can just plug to your PC and avail of that AX technology. Okay, so that's a good point actually, one I forgot to bring up, which was how um, PC gamers would take advantage of this technology. And I suppose, is that the only sort of piece of hardware they would need inside their computer, just the, the PCIe? Um, the, yes. Yeah, okay, great, yes. cool. So once they put in the PCIe adapter, uh, they will have the Wi-Fi uh, Wi 6. Okay, so Wi-Fi 6 is really like a feature that's growing and not just on routers, but on devices as well. Do you see it being something that's going to be adopted by a lot more as time goes on? Is it something that you can see a lot of devices taking advantage of? Yes, exactly. Great. It, it, it will be the near future. Hopefully. Ho I mean, no, not hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that would be a great thing to see. Yeah. But uh, don't get me wrong, uh, if you have the Wi-Fi 6, uh, mm -hmm. any any other product, like if you if you go with the router as well for Wi-Fi 6 for future proof, mm -hmm. uh, it will be backwards compatible with the N uh, and the well. AC standard as well. That's good, that's good. So yeah. you can still use your other devices and it will still be a great router for them. It's just if you want maximum benefit, it's Wi-Fi 6 matchup is the best thing yes, to do. Yes, exactly. Okay, great. So as you can see, Wi-Fi has certainly come a long way since the days of routers, full of high ping and lag and everything you don't want in gaming. Uh, the new products certainly seem like they're showing signs of a future of completely wire-free, completely wireless setups. So thank you to Clive from TP-Link. Thank you for having TP-Link over today. You're very welcome. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode of Overclockers UK Academy. Catch you next time.